Hi everybody! So, if you're looking at the title of this video, you're probably like, this girl is not 40 weeks pregnant. What is she talking about? She already had the baby. <laughs> but I wanted to make a 40 weeks video basically like catching up to my 39 week video or from my 39 week video so that when I do my labor and delivery story, everything will kind of already be set in place. So anyways, just me and the babies right now and I'm feeding Mr. Romero as we speak so um, hopefully we can get to this. Anyways, okay, so 40 weeks pregnant, you guys. Like, I never would have guessed I was going to get to that point. And I was upset about it, kind of, you know, because I, I didn't go that far with Milani. And usually the second pregnancy, you would expect to be the same or less time, you know, being pregnant. So anyways, I was, was like, upset about it. But when, like, let's see, let me start with my doctor's appointment. So I had a doctor's appointment on the 18th which was the day before my due date and I had planned to ask my doctor like first of all like can we do a membrane sweep again and then like possibly talk about induction because my boyfriend is leaving again um soon and I wanted to have as much time with him here and when the baby came so I was going to talk to her about that and just see if we could get something going you know because I was so ready to have him so I get to my doctor's appointment and I didn't have to do the ultrasound that time but I did have to do the NST so it hooked me up to that so while I'm in there they tell me oh um so Dr. Wilbur or something some other doctor will be in um to talk to you and I'm like my doctor's not here and they're like oh no she was on call last night blah 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 so I'm like so I'm not even gonna see my doctor great like I can't even talk to her about the important stuff because She's not here. So that doctor comes in while I'm still hooked up to the machine and it's like, oh, okay, well, how long did you go with your last pregnancy? How dilated were you last time? Blah, blah, blah. Asked me a couple questions. And it's like, well, we'll have you come in or schedule an appointment for Friday, which at the time it was Tuesday. We'll have, and then she said, well, have you, no, it was Monday. Tuesday. I don't know. It was Tuesday. She said, we'll have you come in, um, but hopefully you won't make it that far. And I'm just like, okay. And then she's like, all right, we'll go ahead and schedule your appointment and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, pissed because A, I didn't get checked. B, I didn't get a membrane sweep. And C, I didn't get to talk to, about, talk to her about anything that I wanted to talk to her about. So I was like really upset at that, after that doctor's appointment. Like, I was almost in tears because I was just so frustrated and so mad. And... I was so over it so um, the next day and mind you this whole time since my last video that I had made I had been walking I had been bouncing on the ball I had been walking upstairs drinking red leaf raspberry tea which actually I liked anyway so that wasn't really necessarily to try to get me to go in labor I actually like that tea and anyways I was doing all these things up until that doctor's appointment and I was just like okay I'm, I'm so over this so I always thought if I got to my due date I would be just distraught like I would be wanting to cry like I can't believe this day is here and don't have my baby but instead I was just like you know what whatever I'm just gonna take it like a regular day I'm not gonna stress about it I'm just gonna do my thing so I don't even remember what we ended up doing that day I know for sure we ended up going to like the mall or something we walked around there and, you know but it was just a really relaxed regular kind of day it wasn't anything special so um yeah so that was kind of crazy but you know every night when I was going to sleep like I said I would be like oh I feel like I might be getting a little crampy I feel like I might feel a little pain I hope this is gonna be it I hope I get waking up in the middle of the night by contractions and nothing ever happened like I was convinced that my body was not going to do it naturally and I had seriously considered doing castor oil again like which is just stupid like and everyone was like oh just do it it worked last time just try it and I'm like I really don't want to do that again I want it to happen the way it's supposed to and I don't want to have to deal with all the extraness of, of castor oil so I was waiting it out very impatiently but um basically by the time my due date came I was just like whatever you know it's gonna happen when it's gonna happen if it doesn't then I'm just gonna have to be induced because the doctor had told me they don't start talking about induction until a week after your due date so anyway so the 19th which was my due date passed the 20th 
that morning I had been having um, contractions like pretty strong contractions like if you're on my Facebook I even said like this is like the closest thing that has like been serious or seemed serious as far as maybe me going into labor maybe this is the day like I was really thinking that by the end of that night I would probably be going into labor and having him on the 20th and so um so because I had started having those contractions like really early in the morning and then they were 10 10 minutes apart they were somewhat painful and I was just like oh my gosh I was so pumped but because they started so early in the morning I couldn't sleep and by later that day I was tired and wanted to like take a nap and by the time I woke up everything had stopped and I had like text people like I think this might be it I'm not sure blah 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 and it just totally stopped is that right I'm trying to think of the days now well anyways needless to say we ended up going to the movies and to the mall that day and I had even like did a video clip of us um, you know like possibly this could be the day Romero comes yay and because um, I really did think he was gonna be coming by that night time and the day came and went and it started getting later and later and are we alive? Milani no no baby don't do that okay okay I realized that the 20th was not going to be it for us and I was just like great this is not ever gonna happen like I obviously don't know what my body's doing so no stop so then went to sleep that night and I had been having attractions on and off um, and then I went to sleep that night and 5:45 that morning is when it began and I'm gonna leave it at that I know I went a little past 40 weeks but I wanted to kind of set it up for my labor and delivery story because hmm, my labor and delivery got quite interesting so I'm anxious to do that video I don't think I'm gonna do it right now but I'll be doing it soon but that was pretty much the gist of the 40th week for me I was just really ready to get the baby out obviously and um, yeah so that's it for this video I'm gonna do my labor and delivery video soon and once I kind of get everything in order in my mind <laughs> and um, then my one week postpartum video will be coming up soon so he was born on a Friday today's Wednesday I think I don't know anyways thank you guys so much for every like all the comments all the support like I wasn't able to comment back to everybody this time just because obviously we were busy we were in the hospital and then there were so many comments and you know I just really appreciate it we really do and we're so happy he's here but anyways I don't want to get too much about him being here because I'm gonna talk about that in the other video so I'll see everyone later be looking for that video because stuff went down that day all right bye guys